Well, uh, if you have an older Lenovo laptop, you may not know it, but uh, in September of this year of 2014, Lenovo launched uh, the Lenovo Su Solution Center. It's an application that helps check out your PC. If you look here, it comes with the new ones. Uh, it's selected idea pads, think stations, and all that. But you can download it for your uh, earlier yoga, which is what I have. I have the earlier yoga uh, original 13. And if you don't have it, you should uh, take a look at it. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put the link here. Uh, when you click on the on the program down here, the course to download and everything. But we're going to go ahead and uh, give you the link to go ahead and do it. So once you download it, you install it. It'll ask for Adobe here to, to install. And you might get an error message. I did. But I went ahead and threw it. Then Adobe Air installed anyways. Uh, and now it's installing the actual application. Now, once I went to run it, I couldn't find the application. I did a search for Windows uh, 8, couldn't find it. Uh, I looked here at my apps installed. So if you can't find it, it's not a big deal. Uh, but so I decided to go back to the desktop. Well, when I went back to the desktop, uh, it turns out that the uh, Adobe Air was updating. I wanted to update, so I clicked on update and went ahead and did the update. Uh, and uh, it installed fine. So uh, once it's finished installing, uh, we're going to go ahead here now. We'll go ahead and review the the actual uh, application. If you hover over these sections here, it'll tell you about what they do. You can see information about your system's health. You know, uh, the other ones about security, uh, things, checkup. Basically, it's going to check first of all uh, your hardware. In this case, uh, this I have a hard drive here that's a little full, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean that up a little bit. That's because I'm saving videos to this hard drive, which I'll move those over. Uh, then there's non-critical stuff. Uh, and one of the things you might want to do is uh, uh, take a look at uh, your information here in the summary screen, and you'll see it has a little quick summary. So no, it, it, what is really nice is about this is that it gives you a sense of security or a sense of uh, ease that your system's up to date. Uh, so you can get to make sure that you've got all the drivers, you've got all your systems are working, everything's great. It makes it a lot easier. So what I decided to do first was do that exactly, the, the hardware scan, uh, since there's nothing wrong with the security. But there's the information that says, oh, I have not done the hardware scan test on my computer yet, of course, because it's the first time I've run it. So I said, okay, I'll go ahead and uh, run that. So if we just come down down here to uh, hardware scan in this section, and we say, uh, I want to run the hardware scan, uh, it'll go ahead and start. And I say run scan. So I clicked on run scan, and it's off and running. Now they say, hey, uh, after, while this loads up, uh, it tells you eventually to don't touch your system, which is typical for hardware scans. They want to be able to measure it without you running other programs or moving mice around, uh, stuff like that. So here's the settings. I just wanted to do a quick test. Uh, you can do it once. You can do it many times. But just to make you feel better, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, scroll down here and take a look at all the different options and go down here and say launch. And we're off and running. So it's going to pause here while it's loading and uh, checking out your system. And here's the warning about refraining to use your computer. You say OK. Um, and it's going to go out and start doing the scan. Now it's going to take a while. Uh, the more you leave it alone, the faster it will run. Uh, and it's going to go through each one of your components. As you can see here, it's going to scroll down. Now, it hasn't even started yet. But you'll see a little green indicator bar here in a moment which will tell you uh, what's going on with your system. Uh, the first thing it's going to do here, as you can see, is trying to start a memory, a random test in the memory. And because I'm doing screen capturing, this is actually taking a little bit longer than you'll probably experience because I'm using that memory right now to capture uh, this video. But eventually it'll come up and say, OK, uh, let's get the green bar comes up. So to make a long story short, I'm jumping to the end here. We're at 93% uh, of the memory test. Uh, and uh, it'll finish up and I'll skip on to the month. So there we go. We're here in the uh, motherboard test now. And if you use a scroll bar on the right-hand side of your screen, you'll see that you can scroll down and watch each and every test as it occurs. And hopefully you should have no problems, but it's a good, uh, again, a good uh, feel-good kind of exercise that you can make sure you think your system is all up-to-date and working fine. 
So, and here I have, I've skipped to the end uh, of the last thing is the video card. This is uh, the original laptop, so it only has a 4,000. You'll probably have a 4,400 or something like that in your system. And uh, it'll finish the uh, uh, memory test on those. So, I'm going to skip again. Here we are at 100% uh, done. Everything's fine, uh, this test. Now, you can actually create a log or review the log. It'll take a while for it to generate, like it says. So when the bar on the right-hand side of this becomes uh, available, uh, that's when it's done. You can save it if you want, in case you want to forward it to report to somebody else to, for diagnostic purposes and all that, but everything's great here. Uh, so that's a quick, uh, good summary. So I'm going to go back here to the control panel. Uh, you can look at other things. You can check for software updates. There's Windows Update, which I just ran the last couple of days when I made this video. But then you can go down here to the software updates. Now, it doesn't do what you might think. It just simply goes to the website. Uh, what's good about the website, well, what's good about the website is that you can get your find your stuff pretty easily. You can either type your product name in or you can use their drop downs to find it. So once you find it, you come to the download page. So once you get there, you should uh, resort it by date so that you can see the latest on top. Uh, check them each one of them out. Download the ones you think are necessary. I'm not going to go through each one of them here, uh, but there are some that have been released lately. So moving back to the control panel, uh, we're going to take a look here at some, uh, some one more thing. If you haven't done it yet, the most important thing you should do is, is do a recovery media for your Lenovo. It's a utility that's already uh, came with your system but you should have already d made a backup recovery. It reads your recovery partitions on your system and then launches the uh, thing, the utility. I'm not going to go through that, but it makes a backup. And then later on, if you have a problem, you can always do a system recovery. So you just go launch up to one key recovery here. You click on system backup and you go through that process. And then when you're ready, you go over to system recovery and it says you want to do a recovery uh, again. Do that only if it's an emergency or you think your system is uh, needs to be restored. So the basically the two things, uh, the hardware check is really great. The, jumping out the website you can do on your own, but that's nice. But the recovery media is the other thing you should do with this new support tool from Lenovo. Uh, well, you know, when you don't check, you know, you, it could bite you. So uh, take a look at it, the new Lenovo Solution Center. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, featured video. And thanks for watching.